In lesson 6.3, we are going to start taking our trig functions out of triangles and start thinking about them for any angle in the coordinate plane. So remember, we put our angles in standard position. So we have this angle here, theta, um, and it's just, it's just in standard position. Okay, there's our angle theta. And we have a point on it, so we're going to call this point x, y. Now, we know that to get to that point, this is x and this is y. Okay, I mean, that's how we graph things. x tells us how far left or right we are, and then y tells us how far up and down we are. So we have that, and then if we want to find the radius here, uh, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so the radius is the square root of x squared plus y squared, just the Pythagorean theorem. So now, based on that, let me erase this so we can see this a little better, and that was a terrible line. Okay, so that's r. So if you want to find the sine of theta, well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is y over r. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over r. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is y over x. Um, and then your cosecant, secant, and cotangent are just all the reciprocals of those. Okay, so that's going to be... Um, something kind of interesting to keep in mind. Uh, we don't often use those. It's not like you have to memorize those because we can just draw it at any time we need to. So let negative 2, 3 be a point on the terminal side of theta. Okay, so we have this point over here. It's negative 2, so we've gone left, negative 2, and up 3. And we want to find sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, wow, that was a terrible picture. Well, let's try that again. All right, so here is negative 2, here's 3, there we go. All right, so to find that uh, radius r, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So 3 squared plus negative 2 squared is r squared. Uh, so it gives us, what, 9 plus 4, so 13. So the hypotenuse is root 13. Okay, And now we can find sine, cosine, and tangent. The sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so 3 over root 13, which of course you want to rationalize. Um, 3 root 13 over 13. The cosine of theta, now notice that's the adjacent side, that's a negative because we went left 2, so it's negative 2 over root 13, which we'll rationalize, so negative 2 root 13 over 13. And finally, the tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent, is going to be 3 over negative 2, negative 3 halves. Okay? Now, because of this relationship, something kind of interesting happens um, in the four quadrants that I want to talk about. So if we were to draw a triangle over here, okay, I don't know, I'm just going to say that this is 3 and 1, doesn't really matter. Notice these are both positive numbers. So when I, and this is going to be a positive number too, okay? So positive, positive, positive. So when I go to find the sine, cosine, and tangent, when I do all of those ratios, all three of them are going to be positive. Now let's think about drawing a triangle over here. Now if we've done, drawn a triangle here, this value is, we've gone to the left, so this is going to be negative, and that's positive. The hypotenuse is always positive. So when you do sine of that, sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be a positive value. But the cosine will be this adjacent. This adjacent value is negative, and negative divided by the hypotenuse is going to be a negative. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent, so a positive divided by a negative, so it will also be negative. So when you're in the second quadrant, only sine is positive. All right, now let's think about drawing a triangle in the third quadrant. So when we do that, we have gone left, so that's going to be negative, and then we've gone down, so that's negative. And remember, the hypotenuse is always positive, so you don't have to worry about that. So the sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That'll be a negative over a positive, so that'll be negative. Cosine will be adjacent over hypotenuse, also a negative. And tangent will be opposite over adjacent, so a negative divided by a negative, which is positive. So in the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. 
And then in the fourth quadrant, if you draw a triangle here, that's a positive because we've gone right and then we've gone down. So sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That'll be a negative. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That'll be positive. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that'll be negative. Okay, so let me erase that triangle so you can see. But in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So this leads us to um, kind of an interesting uh, observation. In the first quadrant, they are all positive. In the second quadrant, only sine is positive. In the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. So we have a little acronym we use to remember that. Uh, we're going to say that all students take classes. Okay, and that's going to remind us which values are positive and negative in each of the quadrants. So let me show you how this works. We know that the sine of theta is 4 fifths and the tangent is negative. Okay, so I want to draw this, but I need to draw it in the correct quadrant. So we know that tan or sorry, we know that sine is positive. So that means we are either in the first or second quadrant. We're not going to be down here or down here. Okay. And the tangent is negative. Well, they're all positive in the first quadrant. So since tangent is negative, our triangle must be over here. It must look like this. Now I'm going to fill in the sides. We know that the opposite side is 4. We know that the hypotenuse is 5. And we need to find that third side. So we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. I don't know why this is just hanging out there. I'll just get rid of that. So 4 squared plus x squared equals 25. Well, well 5 squared, which is 25. Uh, so we subtract and we get 9. So we get x equals 3. But remember, this is to the left. So this is actually a negative 3. Okay. So now, if we want to find the cosine of that, we know that the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of theta is going to be negative 3 fifths.